What's up guys? Giles here. Today we are painting the bumper that I put on last episode, or actually two episodes ago. Yeah, I think two episodes ago. Um, the last episode was me talking about what I'm doing my car. Blah, blah, blah. Uh, so yeah, painting the bumper today is actually going to be like a two day process because first you got to clean it, let it dry, wax it, paint it, let the primer and the main color dry, then come back the next day, put on the gloss, the, the clear coat, let that dry. No, wait, yeah, I said that wrong, my bad. Alright, so you put on the primer, then the your main coat, then your clear coat, then you let it dry for a day, or 24 hours, whatever you want to say. Come back, sand it, wet sand it with like a 15, 1200 grit sandpaper. Then you take a cutting compound and you buff it, and then that way you get no orange peel or anything like that. So, right now, I'm gonna get ready to start washing this. Actually, I've already kind of started. So, uh, come with me here. So, um, got to set up on some garbage cans because this is a bunch of builds. Uh, so, just using some downy soap to wash it off, make it all clean. Then I got some degrees here there to wipe on with just a sock. Uh, it's just a normal degrease here. It just gets rid of uh, grease. If it'll focus, there we go. Yeah, so it's just a normal degreaser. There's all of degreasers, but I searched up on the forums. People said that this will work just fine. So I'm gonna get to washing this and then degreasing it and I'll come back when I'm done. Alright guys, she's all waxed and degreased. Um, waxed. The hell am I saying? The hell? Uh, <laughs> she, <laughs> the bumper is washed and grease free now. Um, I'm gonna go get paint and masking stuff and all that that I need for painting. And uh, while I'm doing that, hopefully when I come back it'll be dry enough so I can start putting on my first coat. And then, um, Hopefully, uh, my friend will be joining me sometime soon. All right, guys, I'm back. Uh, bumper is looking like it's drying pretty well. There's just a little bit of um, some wetness in the cracks, but really, actually, that's fine. Like, yeah, I'll show you. Um, just in there, just, you know, on the cracks and stuff. But the rest of it looks pretty clean, pretty good. I'm probably gonna go back and touch up some of these corners just because. That's where you really want the paint to stick. Uh, but went to local uh, auto shop area and got my paint. Kind of looks kind of gross, but uh, in the sun it looks like the right color, but inside it doesn't. But um, obviously it's not gonna look like the right color until I put the clear coat on. Before I do all that, I got put on the uh, this flexible parts primer. Uh, it's meant for plastic bumpers, so I'm gonna start masking up because I'm not gonna paint this and this, um, leaving that black. But the rest of it, I'm all painting. So start masking up, then I'll start painting, and hopefully this goes correctly. Cause uh, this is my first time painting, like actually painting a whole piece of a car, and I've watched probably like five hours of YouTube videos on this stuff. So I'm hoping this goes well. If it doesn't, I'm gonna be out like 50 bucks, but if it does work, you guys will know how to paint your bumper for 50 bucks, so that'll be pretty cool. <laughs> so, yep, stay tuned.
All right, guys, got the first coat of primer on. Not gonna lie, I'm really nervous right now. I don't know, I'm just, like, I don't wanna mess this up because, like, it's the front bumper of your car. And the only reason why I didn't get it done by a professional place is because they were wanting, like, $300. I'm like, hell no, I'm not paying $300 for a bumper that I'm probably gonna have for, like, a year or two because I'm getting the Rocket Bunny kit, which comes with a whole new bumper. So, that's why I'm doing this, and also because this is budget builds, you know, so we can't be having, you know, $300 bumpers. That's not living on a college budget. So uh, here's the first coat. Um, your first two coats should be very uh, light from what I've been seeing on YouTube and reading on uh, forums and whatnot. Um, so I'm gonna do another coat lightly, give about 10-15 minutes of uh, drying between each coat. And then the third coat is supposed to be pretty heavy. And then once that's done, let it dry for probably 20 minutes after the heavy coat and go on to our color. So uh, fingers crossed this works because if not, I'm out 50 bucks and my car is gonna look stupid if it doesn't match. Uh, so yeah, stay tuned. <laughs> guys I'm back uh, just playing the I'm supposed to be putting two lights co light coats of primer and then a heavy coat but I think I'm gonna have to put another heavy-ish coat just to like get all evened out but um I think I might also have to run back down to the paint store and get some more paint cuz I was talking to the guy and he's like I was thinking I would need two but the guy was like I ah, don't know I think you would probably need one because he I don't know, I'm guessing you thought that the bumper was pretty small just because it's a small car. So, uh, but I'm kind of running low on primer right now and I'm not sure if I'm gonna be able to get through it, but depending if I get through it and how much I have left, I might have to go back to the store and get color and clear coat. So, um, I'm hoping I don't have to, otherwise this is gonna be more money spent it's gonna end up being like a $70 paint job. So, uh, yep, so, Actually, what we got so far, we had to crack the uh, garage because paint fumes. Um, you can easily see it though on the camera. You can see the streaking. That don't worry about that. It's gonna go away, especially after the next coat. That's why I'm thinking I need more paint because that can is bigger than all than those two. And yeah, I, yeah. So I'm mostly gonna have to do that, but. It's coming along better. Uh, still nervous because we just don't know how it's going to turn out until you're done. But uh, hoping it goes well. Alright, guys, I'm back. Uh, went and got some more paint. As you can see there, we now have twice the amount of paint wherever the other can of primer went. Oh, never mind. It's right there. So we have two things of primer. Two things of clear coat and two of our uh, layman's lay, layman sunset. Or, I don't know. Basically metallic burnt sun orange. But uh, just put on a fourth coat. It is now drying. Um, while this is drying, I went and got myself some food and grub. Whatever you guys want to call it. But uh, I'm just going to eat that. I'm gonna eat that food, enjoy it. 
It's gonna taste great. I, I've only eaten like one meal today. I'm pretty hungry right now. But uh, hopefully that will dry up on the time I only eat one sandwich. Most likely not. It'll probably end up eating both sandwiches and then still waiting for this to dry because I'm so hungry. But uh, no word on the friend yet if he's gonna show up. If he doesn't show up for this, he'll for sure be showing up for the next uh, video I put up, which will be putting in the new radiator support. So uh, you guys are probably wondering like, whoa, I thought you said that you weren't gonna do that until summer. Well, luckily I have a cousin that's great with selling stuff. Um, I had a paintball gun and all that stuff. He sold it for me, so that got me some money, so I had money to do this and to, uh, to buy a radio sport, which was also on sale at Z1 Motorsports, I think it's called. And uh, so yeah, that's coming mail. It's supposed to be here Saturday, which is in two days, because today is Friday. Um, so, I'll get this all done. Probably won't put it on the car just because the radio sport's gonna be coming, so there's no point putting the bumper on the car when I'm gonna have to take it back off and put the whole radio sport back on. So, uh, yeah, so my friend might show up for that. Um, at least you better. I know you're watching this and you better, so. All right, <clears throat> another thing I should add is that, uh, first of all, this, this tastes fucking great. I already ate one. And this is the second one. But uh, um, another thing I should add about this is that this episode's probably kind of pretty boring because, I mean, there's not much to talk about. A lot of it's just being patient and, uh, you know, waiting. <laughs> um, but yeah, I mean, so, I mean, as you can see, I'm just sitting on a, on a tractor right now eating food. It's pretty great, actually. Got the uh, heater blowing on me. It's pretty nice and warm in here. I just wish uh, the bumper would heat up faster because uh, this sandwich is about to be gone in about like two minutes. So it's only been probably like three minutes since <laughs> the last time I took a video talking to you guys. All right, guys. Sorry for quality sounds for me. Sorry about the music. But I got to listen to music because I'm working. But Starting to make color. So let's do this. Sorry about the bad angle. I tried a sports car just to prove. I'm a real big baller because I made a million dollars and I spend it on girls and shoes. But you don't want to be high like me. Never really know why like me. You don't ever want to step off that roller coaster and be all alone. And you don't want to ride the bus like this. Never know who to trust like this. You don't want to be stuck up on that stage. All right, guys. But hang on a second. Turn down the music so you guys can hear me. All right. So, just got done putting on the first color, first coat of color. And not gonna lie, for you guys that are thinking about doing this, just so you know, if you use this company, it's called Fill One Master Blend. It's a uh, pan in the end. Make sure you're seeing this correctly. Uh, so yeah, that's this is what it looks like. But um, the nozzles on these, uh, it's kind of, <laughs> I almost kind of like put it on too heavy like right away because you actually have to stand back pretty dang far with uh, those cans, that one right there, to uh, make sure you put on like a light coat. Like I tried pretty hard to get a light coat. Like it was better over here, but in the front along there, you, you can tell. But, I mean, it's, it's not like super heavy though, so it's fine, but I'm liking how it's turning out so far. This color without the uh, gloss on it actually looks really nice. I mean, this is just the first coat. Like, obviously, like, there's just splotches everywhere, but I think it kind of looks nice. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, let this dry and then two, three, maybe four coats. All right guys, just got done with the second coat of color and I am loving how it's turning out. Like, I couldn't ask for more, honestly. Like, this is only the second coat and I haven't even put on the, uh, um, what do you call it? The, uh, the hell are you called? Uh, clear coat, there we go. 
Um, I haven't started putting the clear coat, but just putting the second coat of color. And I'm probably going to put on two or three more. Uh, I'm just putting like an excess, an excess of, uh, of coats just because I want to make sure I have a good even spread of everything. Everything's covered. And uh, so yeah. But in other news, for those of you that are watching this video or are subscribed to me and are part of the WCC club, which is Wisconsin Car Enthusiast Club, um, I will be at the opener in Oconomowoc. Uh, so that's from today, today, it's next weekend. So that's why I'm trying to get this bitch done. But, uh, but yeah, I'll be there. If you guys see me, don't be afraid to come up and say hi. I love meeting new people. But uh, I'm really excited, so hope to see you guys there. Last coat. Alright guys, you ready to start the clear coat? And like I said, my friend's here. I saw. <laughs> <laughs> That's Gordy. Uh, You'll probably be seeing him a lot this summer when I'm doing a bunch of hopefully, stuff. Hopefully, you'll be seeing some bags being done in this garage oh, yes. in a couple months. You want to tell what you own? Oh, yeah, I have a 2014 Focus ST with a couple mods out of it, but hopefully, hopefully, it should be bags this summer. That's, that's the goal. <laughs> and he's putting bags on it. Which we're very excited for, actually. <laughs> But uh, we'll show you a little bit of a clip of his car just taking off when we leave. But uh, yeah, starting to clear it up. Alright guys, just finished my second clear coat and it is looking sexy as hell. Like, look how pretty that is looking. Oh yeah. She wet. She looking fine as hell. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, Gordy's leaving. So, we're gonna go. Oh, Take a look at his car. He, the only reason why he's leaving right now is because he has to go get his girlfriend. <laughs> but here's Stacy. <laughs> is this my car? I've got yellow fog lights because it's JDM. I got roof rack because kayak. I got I got stickers. Cause extra horsepower, cause I need those. I got. Dude, they can barely see shit. I know. <laughs> I got. I got. Yeah, dual, I got dual fork can mufflers. <laughs> I got some some wheels for weight reduction. That we literally can't see at all. I know. I'm so sorry for all this, everyone. <laughs> I got an intercooler for colder air. <laughs> this is my car. <laughs> Stacy. <laughs> <laughs> Oh yeah. Ooh. Oh, she's so sexy. She's so sexy. Can't wait to bag her. <laughs> See ya. Oh. 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 Wait for it. I'm gonna wait for it. I'm gonna wait for it to take off. You'll probably be able to hear it.
There it is. <laughs> so yep, that's my friend Gordy. <laughs> You'll be seeing him a lot this summer. So uh Yep, that's that. But I got one more clear coat to do guys. Or maybe two more, I'm not sure yet. But uh then after that, I'm not sure if I'm gonna take it home with me or leave it here. I might just leave it here just because I want to not move it and make sure it dries correctly and everything. So there's that. And then let it settle overnight. Wet sand it with 1500 grit. Uh, and then after that, buff it with a cutting co compound and put it back on the car and she's, she'll be good. So yeah, stay tuned for tomorrow morning, which is kind of sucks because I just kind of want to get this done. What's up guys? It's the next day, finally. Um, not gonna lie, I kind of just woke up. <laughs> I'm pretty tired. But uh, I'm back at the house. The bumper's here. It's looking great. Um, just to give you guys an idea of how crazy Wisconsin weather is, like, it seems really nice out to you guys probably right now, but it's actually really cold here. I mean, not super cold, but cold enough, you know, you can see the my breath right now. But uh, just to give you guys an idea, you guys can see, like, the snow all along the edges. Like, this is where the sun's been shining. But you can, like, see the snow from yesterday that we just got. But... Oh man. But anyways, let's get to, uh, we're going to sandpaper, wet sand this with uh, 1500 grit sandpaper. And then after that, we have to take a cutting compound and buff it and then we're done. So yeah, you basically just, you guys are just going to watch me the rest of the time. So kind of boring, but it's the rest of the video and it's part of the process. So let's get to it. Just got done finishing sanding. I'm gonna most likely go back over it again just to make sure it, I mean, I got it down right because this is like one of the main critical points. And plus, I, now I just realized I forgot this area. But um, basically, you just keep going and, and you feel it with your hand and you can tell like where you've sanded and not sanded. Like here is extremely, extremely smooth. And then like where I haven't seen it yet, it's kind of like rough a little bit. Like you, you can tell the difference. So you basically just keep going and f feeling it by hand until you think it's smooth enough. But uh, so yeah, I'm gonna probably go over that one more time. And then depending on how that turns out, I have a cutting compound, but it's not a very strong compound for cutting that's really meant for it. It's more like a polish kind of. So depending on how this turns out and how good it looks after I'm done sanding, uh, I might have to go to the store and get some cutting compound, which kind of sucks because I don't feel like really going anywhere today. <laughs> I just want to get this done. But, uh, so yeah, I'll let you know when I'm done going through it again. Alright guys, all done sanding. It's time to buff. So I got my cutting compound, 3M rubbing compound, drill, buffing pad. Yeah, the boy devoted. 
The coldest and you know it Been at it for a while So don't ask me where I'm going I'm the type that just gon' show it Out here in the moment So if you down with that Pack your bags, let's keep it coasting I'm just living life to the fullest How many can say that they do this? Travel around the world and back here This fact, don't believe me, you're snoozing Set free, yeah, I'm gone So I guess this is goodbye Only one place that I'm headed Straight up through the northern sky guys I'm back wow that took a long time I'm not gonna lie uh, basically you just you just sand and then you start buffing you keep buffing until you like the results that you see and trust me I am liking the results that I see I'm hoping this shows up on camera but you can see like everything in reflection of this it looks like you it's basically like a mirror like the best mirror you could possibly have if it was an orange mirror so uh, I'm gonna try to get this on camera but uh yeah, there you go. You can see the basketball hoop, which is right there. But yeah, it's it turned out amazing. Um, one other thing that you'd probably want to do after this is just probably like actually do a wax and whatnot. Um, I'm gonna wait until it's actually on my car to do that. It'll just make it easier. Cause as you guys saw, as I was buffing this, it was extremely hard to do it. My brother had to come and hold it which right now I'm kind of missing on the family gathering like gathering like we got cars all in our driveway and down there and yeah so I'm gonna be done for now um, this won't go on on the car until I put the new radiator support which will be the new video that I'll be releasing after this one but Thank you guys for watching. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. Give this video a thumbs up and have a nice day. Thanks, guys.